Aurora Borealis and Van Allen Belts by Emmy Siddons. Have you ever seen a picture of a beautiful illuminate sky? Well, it's called the Aurora Borealis. Pierre Gassadini was the first to discover the Aurora Borealis in 1641. He was also a French philosopher, scientist, and also a mathematician. Three things. Pierre didn't name the Aurora Borealis after himself, but after a Roman goddess. Right here in the middle of this picture is Aurora. She was the Roman goddess that Aurora Borealis was named after. Aurora also means sunrise. There are the Aurora Borealis and also the Aurora Australis. The Aurora Australis is on the south side and the Aurora Borealis is on the north side. There is no land really near the south side, so not as many people see the Aurora Australis. Do you know how the Aurora Borealis works? Well, there are magnetic fields around Earth, except for the North and the South Pole. Next, the air molecules collide with sun rays. Then the air molecules will vibrate and create colorful lights in many different colors. There are many different colors in the Aurora Borealis. The most common color is green, but there is also red, yellow, pink, purple, and magenta. Oxygen creates the colors green and brownish-reddish, and nitrogen creates red and blue. The reason green is the most common color is that oxygen is at a lower t altitude and green's excited state is more visible to the eye. The most common green color is yellowish-green. On the other hand, red is the least common color. Red is less visible to the eye because they are at a higher altitude. Only at some circumstances, you will be able to see the red lights. Also, there are less oxygen atoms, which is another reason they are less common. Blue is at a low altitude and visible to the eye. Blue used to be a common color because of the many oxygen atoms, but it's not anymore. The colors yellow and pink are a mix of red and green, which is weird because when you mix red and green paint, it makes a brown color. You only see these lights every five years. The last time they appeared was in 2011, so the next appearance will be in 2016. The only time you can see these lights are in the night when everything is dark. You can see these lights even in space. There are many pictures taken by the International Space Station of these northern lights, like the one you see right here. The lights are above Earth's surface and can overlap with each other. Scientists have found out that other planets have the Aurora Borealis too. Jupiter and Saturn both have a strong magnetic field, even stronger than the Earth's magnetic field. Scientists have been studying these lights since 1955. Then there are the Van Allen belts. James Van Allen discovered the belt in 1958. He was an American astrosophist, and he was the first to predict the belt. He was also the first to interpret the Van Allen belt findings of the satellite. You may be asking yourself, how do the Van Allen belts work? The Van Allen belts are a strong force of electrons and protons. The inner belt is mainly of protons colliding with cosmic rays with atoms in the atmosphere. The outer belt is mostly made up of electrons and also the atmosphere and solar wind. Jupiter and Saturn both have the radiation belts kind of like the Van Allen belts. Jupiter and Saturn have many similarities as Earth. Like, they both have the radiation belts, as I said, and the Aurora Borealis. How does the Aurora Borealis have a connection, you may be wondering. The particles in the solar wind get trapped in the Earth's magnetic field, and this creates the beautiful and wonderful Aurora Borealis. The Van Allen belts are a new finding. In 2012, scientists have been studying the belts, and they think there's a possibility that there is a third belt. The third belt is said to be between the inner and outer belt. Then, the third and outer belt disappeared a few weeks after the third belt appeared. The Van Allen belts 
altitude varies from 1,000 to 60,000 kilometers. The outer belt varies from 13,000 to 60,000 kilometers. But the inner belt varies from 1,000 to 6,000 kilometers. Are the Aurora Borealis and Van Allen belts dangerous? Well, just the Van Allen belts are dangerous because some part of the belt, both outer and inner, come into the upper region, which is the atmosphere, and over the South Atlantic, then creates or forms the Southern Atlantic anomaly. Critics go to Wikipedia. Every note. Explain everything. iMovie. Telegami. And Mr. Claus.